Hi, I'd like to share with you something very important today on this journey we're going to take. If you struggle with anxiety, fear, panic, or stress, and related depression in your life, I have a revelation for you. It means, ready for this? It means that you have abundance of these three attributes that I'm going to share with you for now. Now, ready to hear them? You're probably assuming the most miserable, frustrating, sick attributes that make up these miserable and terrible emotional states of anxiety, fear, panic, stress, the most miserable of emotions. And you probably think the ingredients, the recipe, are equally as miserable. And I'm here to tell you exactly the opposite. If you struggle with these things, if you get stressed out easily, if you get anxious easily, if you have panic attacks, if you have experienced a lot of frustration, if you experience a lot of negative emotion, all it means is that you have been blessed with three great attributes. Number one, creativity. Number two, sensitivity. And number three, intelligence. Yes, you heard right, I'm gonna repeat them again. Creativity, sensitivity, and intelligence. Let me explain you why. I'm not just going to tell you because I am licensed and went to school and therefore have the right to tell you what makes up anxiety, fear, panic, and stress. I'm going to actually explain it to you. And I know this from over the thousand people that I've worked with one-to-one. And it's always accurate and true. In order for you to feel a negative emotion with such intensity... You need to be creative to create a terrible thing possibly happening, to create a vision of a calamity or a tragedy or what could go wrong or how bad that person intended to hurt you when they said what they said. That requires a lot of creativity to create and conjure up that image in your mind. Sensitivity. In order for it to affect you in a way that it could totally knock you out of whack and really ruin your mood, You need to be extremely sensitive and you need to be intelligent to fully comprehend and understand what could go wrong and the effect it has in order for it to have that amazing strong impact on you. So now, creativity, sensitivity, intelligence, those are three of the greatest attributes that I would wish on everybody that I love. But that's all good if you manage the creativity, you manage the sensitivity, and you manage the intelligence. But if it controls you, and let me explain it to you this way, the difference between having a little creativity, sensitivity, and intelligence versus having a lot of creativity, sensitivity, and intelligence is the difference of watching a movie in your mind on an iPhone screen versus watching it on an IMAX quality screen. It's a total different experience. If you watch something very scary on an iPhone, as scary as it is, big deal. But if you watch the same video, the same movie on an IMAX screen, six stories high, 3D glasses, surround sound, you have a different experience. You could know you're sitting in a theater, but your heart pounds. When you have a little bit creativity, sensitivity, and intelligence, it's like watching it on an iPhone. No emotion, good or bad, impacts you in a big way. But if you have a lot of creativity, that's the six story high screen. You have a lot of sensitivity, that's 3D glasses. And you have a lot of intelligence, that's surround sound. That's why you can experience anxiety, fear, panic, stress, frustration, and depression, IMAX quality. Well, is that a liability or is that a benefit? Depending on who controls the tape deck in your mind. Who decides which video you're watching? If you watch powerful and empowering videos, well, The IMAX screen is there to serve you. But if you're watching scary, miserable, frustrating videos, then that's a disaster. And I'm here to teach you how to control the tape deck in your mind. Utilize your creativity. Utilize your sensitivity. Utilize your intelligence to serve you and not to hurt you. By learning how to do that, you then take something that might have been a liability for years. For decades. I've helped people that have been for decades struggling with this. Learn how to manage the supercomputer between your ears, and live an amazing life. 
I look forward to sharing with you more great information on this video, on this series of videos, again on the next one. Be well.